Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be making a frontal unit using loose wave hair. As you can see, I have this black spandex cap. And that's my favorite cap to use. And I have a bunch of needles threaded. I have a bunch of needles threaded because I make a lot of wigs and I do hair. So that's why I have a bunch of needles threaded. So if you only have one, that's fine. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that the lace is even on both sides. You don't want to have more lace on one side than you do on the other because that would make your unit uneven. I'm taking T pins and making sure my lace stays in place. So I'm going to put two on the side and then I place one in the middle as well. I'm also going to move my hair out the way. This step isn't really necessary. You can do it without it, but I choose to do this because I don't like to fum fumble with hair. All right, so we're gonna start in the middle of the lace. Starting in the middle of the lace, to me, is better than starting from ear to ear. It helps the lace stay flat, and then it also helps you to know that it's even. So the first thing that you wanna do is go through the lace, go through the cap, and then I'm gonna open my thread and take my needle through the thread. I'm only gonna do that the first time. And then from there on, I'm just going to loop my needle through the thread. So you wanna go through the lace, through the neck or the cap, and then bring the needle through the loop. And you see that circle right there that you get? That's what you want. You wanna make sure that your needle is going through the thread in that circle. Yep, that circle, that's what you want. And I'm gonna to continue to do that throughout the whole process. All right, so we have gotten to the end of the lace on this side. So I wanna show you how I tie off my knot. So I'm gonna do the same thing, go through the lace and through the cap. You just wanna make sure that you go through the top part of the cap and not completely through that cap at the bottom because it will be too tight. And I'm just gonna bring my needle through a little bit. I'm gonna take the thread and I'm going to go around the needle about three or four times. And then I'm gonna pull that needle through and that creates a knot. And all I would have to do is cut it. Now you can do it the other way, which is you can bring your needle through the lace in the cap and then cut your thread a little bit to where you still have some length on it. 
and then you can just tie a few knots and then cut the extra lace. I found that this is easier for me and I actually like the knot that it creates. So I went ahead and I did the exact same thing that I did on the first side to the second side. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same. So we're about to get ready to sew on the tracks. I'm going to pull my cap down, stretch it down all the way to make sure, one, that the tracks are properly laid on there, and two, I'm stretching it down because I want to make sure that the cap fits properly and that there's no excess buildup in the middle. So I took my T-pins and I made sure that that cap was stretched out. All right, so we're getting ready to sew it on. Like I said the first time, you wanna go through the weft and then you wanna take it through the cap and you wanna also use the loop method. So just make sure you go through the weft when you first initially start off through the cap and then you wanna loop the needle through the thread. You can also use a T-pin or any type of pin to hold your track across so you won't have to hold it. That makes it a little easier until you feel comfortable that you can hold it, but it also helps you go faster as well. Now we're at the end. Because my thread is getting shorter, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my thread. So I'm gonna do the same method of looping the thread around the needle, and then I'm gonna pull the, three, the needle to create a knot, and then I'm gonna just cut the excess thread that we have on there. So with all my units, I do the flip over method because nobody really likes their tracks to be cut. But this unit is for me personally, and I still will continue to do the flip over method. So we will be starting off with a new needle unless your needle is long enough. And you wanna make sure that when you start off that your track is still secure, even though it's attached to that bottom track. You wanna make sure that it's still secure. So I'm um, still going to make sure that I go through the thread to secure that track and then I'm just going to continue with the loop method.
We have gotten to the end of that first bundle. So all I'm gonna do is take the second bundle and start off where I ended the first bundle. Just remember that you wanna go through the weft, through the cap, and then through the thread. And then you wanna make sure that you loop it. And you're gonna continue this process. If you do the same thing that you have been doing throughout the first bundle, you will be successful. And you want to make sure that your track that you added looks just like the first bundle was continued. So you want to make sure that it's neat and you want to make sure that it's flat and that it looks continued and don't look like the two bundles are separated. So for my last bundle, I am going to be doing single west instead of double, but since I already started with the double west, I want to finish off this line using double, so I'm going to take my last bundle and go ahead and double it. You want to make sure if you do this method 
you double it through the loose end and not the end that's folded. So when you get ready to cut it, it will still be folded instead of you having two separate pieces of webs, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and just start my last bundle off where I left off from the second bundle. And I'm going to continue using the same method. And then after that, we will go to single webs. Now, you can choose to continue to do double webs, but for me, I like it to be flat at the top, so that's why I choose to do single. done adding that small portion from that third bundle you want to make sure that it looks like it all goes together you see how neat that is that is what you want to make sure if you're adding a web to that bundle that ended off all right guys we're almost done so I'm taking my single web now and I'm just going to continue to sew the tracks like I have been doing throughout the whole process I personally don't like to sew my tracks on top of the lace. I just like to get as close to that lace closure as I can, but I don't want to sew it on top of the lace because I still want it to be flat. And then if I decide to ever switch out my lace, I can do that. So it's your preference. If you feel more comfortable sewing it on the lace to make sure everything is intact, you can do so, or you can follow my method.
right guys we are all done sewing so now it is time to style i am going to use some niobe mousse or styling foam to style this with some water and as you can see right now here are a few styles that you can rock with this unit and you can style your unit as desired i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up like comment if you would like i love all the comments and i thank you guys for stopping by Make sure you guys subscribe. Bye.